Hi, it's Chantel here from Fiverrific. This video, I'm going to give you my top five tips in working with silk. So um, my first tip would be to do with your hands and not so much your tools. I would say go and give your hands a scrub down with a nail brush and just some soft soap um, and get rid of any sort of loose skin, any little um, edges of nail, things like that. Just things that the silk can catch on. Now this is for spinning or knitting and crocheting with silk. You just want your hands in the best possible condition so you've got less chance of silk catching on your skin. My next tip would be to loosely ball your silk. If you're, if you're purchasing silk in a hank or skein and you need it need to ball it yourself I would not ball it too tightly I would definitely go with a, a looser ball it just makes it easier and then work from the outside of that ball not the inside so it doesn't collapse in on itself and create all sorts of knots and nightmare for you so a looser lo not lo not super loose but a looser ball and then work from the outside of the ball instead of the inside of the ball I would then also recommend if it's your first time using silk, I would say maybe grab yourself bamboo tools to start with. You need to make sure they're good quality tools and that there's no snags, no burrs, that it's not too, too grippy. You just want just the lightest amount of grip just so that your silk doesn't fly off on you, especially if it is your first attempt at silk. If you don't have bamboo and you or you don't like bamboo, then I would definitely say go for a brushed steel rather than a slippery steel. Like the, the chow goo have a really nice brushed steel surface so that while it's slippery and it moves freely, it's not super, super slippery like some of the aluminium tools that you can get out there. Tip number, ah, oh, see, I don't even know where I'm up to. Um, hands, ball, needles. Ah, yeah, okay. So my next tip number four. So I would recommend stitch markers because especially with silk, uh, if you have to tink it or unknit it or pull out whatever you're working on sometimes it can fur up a little bit and you really don't want to be doing that on any sort of large scale it'll end up changing how shiny it gets it'll dull off in the sections that you've had to tink back now obviously this will depend on the type of silk that you're using not all silk will do this um, on tip number five my final tip for using silk is a tip that I have for everything. It's a resounding tip for everything. Is be kind to yourself. Give yourself a chance to learn. You're using a new product that doesn't feel like you've used before. It will behave differently than what you're used to. So just give yourself a chance. Go slow and just keep trying. If you want to see more videos, then you can click here. If you want to subscribe to me, then click over here. And if you want to go and hit my website and have a look and see what I've got available, then just click down here. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. I'll see you on Tuesday.